Hello again, everyone. I am back with yet another serious eye-opening and thought-provoking message. The title, topic, or subject matter of this message is, Once saved, always saved. Is it true or false? And this is the first volume of part one of the Predestination series. But before I get into this, I would just like to say, firstly, please address me using feminine pronouns because I am a female, okay? I'm a woman. And second, secondly, if you don't believe in the spiritual slash supernatural realm, but instead you think that this physical slash natural realm is all there is, then don't waste your time listening to this, okay? If you don't believe that there's there's a, such a thing as good, evil, right, wrong, that there's a God, there's a devil, that there's a heaven, that there's a hell, and that, you know, there's judgment and eternity, don't, don't, don't listen to this, okay? Because it's not going to make any sense to, sense to you because according to the, the word of God, if you're among one of the details, you know, the things of righteousness, the things of God, you know, the things that pertain to godliness and things of that nature and spiritual, you know, sad supernatural things, it's not going to make any sense to you at all. It's going to be foolish to some of you. It's going to be strange to you. So don't waste your time. Listen to this. You just go over to one of those, um, those fake synthetic clone uh, YouTubers or influencers, as they like to call it now, on social media and just eat up their content because according to the word, of, according to the scriptures or the Bible, or the Canaan scriptures and the word of God, the, the, you know, the world loves its own, so you might want to skip over this message, okay, because if you get, if you get offended, it's really not my fault, because I've warned you in advance, but moving forward, this is one of the most controversial doctrines out there, this whole once saved, always saved thing, and see, some, although some of these people that believe this stuff are my brothers, sisters in Christ, and they're sincere, they're just ignorant and don't know what's going on, now, and I honestly pray that you know, before this thing is over, they have a better understanding of this particular subject. And also, I would like to throw in that many, there are many out there in Christendom, so-called, you know, they're, they're professing Christians and they claim they're following God, but they don't believe that, you know, once a person gets saved, that, you know, their salvation is secure. They have all these, they'll jump to conclusions and they have all these preconceived notions about whether a person is always saved or not, okay? But the problem is that, there's many out there that, you know, they're knowledgeable about the Bible and they're even believers. They're born again. They have to change their soul and so forth. But they don't, they can't differentiate between the true and wise virgins and the false and foolish virgins, okay? But I'm about to break this stuff down to you because most people don't. They just, you know, just make a sum, false assumptions and have preconceived notions, as I said earlier, like I said before about this particular subject. They never really sit down and you know, you know, study the word and ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit in this particular area. But you have to understand something. The the true and wise virgins, they're the only ones that's able to be born again and get the new birth, okay? And truly, you know, uh, you know, chosen to follow God and so forth. But on the other hand, the foolish virgins, the false ones, you know, they're the ones that they're, they're able to get the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but they're not able to get the new birth because they don't have the seed of God in them. The ones that are the true slash wise virgins, they have a seed of God in them, and they're the ones that's going up in the rapture before the tribulation period, by the way. I would just like to say that for all the trash and garbage in the back, the, the true and wise virgins are the only ones that are going in the pre-tribulation rapture, okay? Because some are out here are not getting it. And for those of you out there that are chosen to follow God, or you're already in, and or you, you're not in the kingdom yet, but you know that you're one of the chosen ones, please understand, please stop listening to these demons that are telling you that we're going to be down here with them to suffer the tribulation period. Because I would like to throw this scene right quick, even though it isn't my message for, you know, this particular audio message. This isn't my topic or subject matter for this message, okay? Please understand something. The purpose of the tribulation period is to punish the world for their sin, okay? Because this world is a very evil, wicked place. And it's more evil and wicked than you will ever know. And if you knew the extent of the evil and wickedness that takes place down here, you will not stay down here for another day, okay? And secondly, the purpose of the tribulation period is for God to go back to dealing with Israel. Because I just thought I had to lay this out because a lot of individuals out here are... A lot of people, a lot of folks out here are confused about, you know, this subject. They, they, they're just listening to demons and just most anybody that claims they're a prophet, they're a pastor, they're a preacher or, or a teacher of the Bible or whatever. The the the, the, the Bible, the Canaan of Scriptures or the Word of God. Okay, but you can't believe everybody that the Bible says not everybody that says Lord, Lord is going to enter the kingdom of heaven. Because a lot of them are not even chosen. And most of the time, I suspect, because most people in this world were never even real. 
that a lot of them are clones or agents of darkness, okay? And they're just there to push a bunch of lies and just cause confusion and stuff, among, especially among the, the body slash bride of Jesus Christ, okay? We will not be down here for the tribulation period, dot com period, okay? As a matter of fact, there's going to be a window of time between the time that the, the true and wise virgins go up and time that tribulation breaks on this earth. I don't know how long it's going to be. It's going to be either a few days, a few weeks, or up to a few months at the most, okay? Or a few days or weeks at least. So, during that time, they're going to speculate what's, about what's happening. Was, they're going to say, well, millions is missing. Maybe they was they was abducted by aliens, or maybe because they wouldn't get with this program that we had going on, this New World Order, this great reset that we got, we've got going, that, you know, when we, when we launched the bomb to get rid of them, they just vaporized and disappeared off of the earth. They're going to come up with some foolish, nonsensical explanation about why we disappeared. But anyways, moving forward, i just like to say that the, the wise virgins are, are going up in the rapture, but the foolish virgins, on the other hand, they're going to go up in the mid of rapture, okay? And the, the, the house of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites, the real black Jews, by the way, who are, who are people of color, by the way, that, that are going to come out of Africa and go back to the Holy Land, where they was, you know, before the diaspora had taken place, uh, many centuries ago, many, many years ago, uh, they go up at the end of the tribulation period just before, you know, God burns the earth and stuff with fire and renovates it so that him and, you know, Jesus and the saints can come back here, the saints, the followers, or the believers of the Most High or the Heavenly Father come back to the earth to inherit it and reign with Jesus Christ during the millennial reign. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is this once saved, always saved thing only applies to those who are chosen to follow God. But the ones that ain't chosen to follow follow God, but but there's a big but in there. The ones that haven't been chosen to follow God, they don't have the seed of God in them. It's not really possible for them to have the new birth. Okay, I'm not putting all those people in hell because according to the Bible, the Canaan of Scripture, or the Word of God, these people that if they keep their name on the Book of Life, that means if they get the baptism of the Holy Ghost, then they don't they don't fall back into sin or whatever, or you know fall into the traps of the temptations of the enemy, then they're either going to, they may die and go to hell, but I don't believe they're going to the lake of fire. By the way, there's a difference between those two. Hell is to make, to keep things brief because this isn't my subject for this audio message. Hell is like the county jail, but on the other hand, the other hand, the lake of fire is the, is the state penitentiary. It represents state penitentiary. And the great white throne judgment is the final trial of deliberation. Of, you know, everybody died in their sins, and even of Satan, the demons, and the fallen angels. That's what our preachers leave out, is that Satan, the devil, the demons, and the fallen angels also will be judged at the great white throne judgment. Because a lot of them are taking on human form and stuff, and y'all got to remember something out there. For those of y'all that have been chosen, not everybody, and even those that, you know, they, they didn't get saved or whatever, died in their sins or whatever, but... They were good people or whatever. People that get done wrong and stuff. Y'all, those of y'all that have been, you know, done dirty and stuff by the devil's cry. Please understand not all those people, not all of those individuals were even real. Okay, a lot of them were demons. 